smoking with the Migos. It's just me and me and Migos. Uh. Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Now, uh, you guys have noticed that my my consistency has completely plummeted. That's because there's a lot of, a lot of things going on and a lot of financial issues going on and a lot of BS, in other words, have been going on with both of us. Um, so pretty much what's going on with us, uh, if you guys didn't know, my brother's car, we got the headlight and brake done, uh, we got the, the smog done, everything was good to go, we went down to the DMV, we gave him all the paperwork, everything was good to go, but there was one last thing the car needed, which was a VIN verification, and you know, I didn't think much, the car, you know, was complete, it was done, there was no more damage that can be visibly shown on the car, so, you know, I was thinking, you know, the hood's there, the quarter panel's there, obviously the front windshield, everything is there, so all the VIN numbers of the car originally is there, so I wasn't, you know, having any doubt in my mind that we're gonna get the plates and get out of there. But you guys know, the DMV is just a joke in California, and, just the government in general are just always out for your money. So basically what happened, since the door was black, they put that the door was replaced, and since the door is replaced, they need the VIN number for it. Like from what car it came from. And if you guys don't know, I bought the door like six months ago, it was a long time ago. Uh, I don't remember the seller, I don't remember anything about him. Um, I, don't, I didn't get his contact information, I didn't get the VIN number of the car that I bought the door off of. So I just have a door that I paid for with no proof and what they said is since you have no proof of the door We're gonna have to seize your door and I was just like what the heck They're like since they said we can't do anything from here We booked you an appointment in April 4th for CHP and you have to go down there um, With a new door or they're gonna seize your door and you're gonna you, something's gonna go under my record for 12 years some BS like that I paid for the door. I showed you guys a video of me paying for the door. I paid for the damn door, but you know how the government is. They just want your damn money. So next video is pretty much gonna be me buying another Imagine door. You're gonna go to jail for uh, for buying a stolen door. Yeah, I mean <laughs> that's ridiculous. I it, I bought it. it doesn't I really mean, matter if it's stolen or not. I already paid for it. Yeah, my story too, man. So you know what? Let's just not like pay for it or like not do what they said, and we'll go to jail together. Just go to jail? Yeah. Okay. For like well, a ten. Right, well, okay. Now hold on. Oh, we'll yeah, that. we'll okay, talk about we'll that in a second. Let me just finish with right. this one. So. Basically, next video is going to be me buying another door for my brother. Such BS. So I can, I have to buy another door just so I have a receipt. That's just the BS that's going on here in California. I don't even know what to say. It's, I mean, it's not even my money, but I just feel bad for my brother. He has to buy a whole other door. But yeah, that's me and my life. That's stuff I have to deal with because I'm the older brother. I have to deal with all this shit. We're going to have to get a new door. End of story of that. They're just nitpicking on everything. The car can't be registered for a whole other month. Um, that's just because of a VIN verification. But anyways... It's not just me going through some shit, my brother going through some shit. Also, my boy Muhammad yesterday is going through some shit. I mean, that's just what, what happened to you yesterday? Man, so yesterday I got pulled over for like the stupidest thing ever. Like, I got pulled over for having tint, which is, I know a tint, okay, yeah, probably they will pull me over, but like not for 35%, honestly. Like, 35%, what is 35%? Like, everyone have 35%. Yeah, it's not much. Like, you... this is nothing, honestly. Like, I have a lot of friends who have 5% and they never got pulled over and stuff like that. So it was just like, it was so stupid. I felt like he just because like he saw the car is wrapped and stuff. Yeah. So he felt like, oh. That's the thing. When you guys have cars that are wrapped, if you guys know what like mean, because our cars are like just, you can see it from a mile away. A cop, when they yeah. look, if they hear anything loud coming by, they're going to look out and if they see a color shifting car, tell us. You're, <laughs> that's it. You're the, they're going after you no matter what it is. Thing, this, is not, this is not the only thing. It's not under my name. It's under my dad's name. He got My dad got the ticket because yeah. he was driving it. And he wasn't even driving fast. He was just driving like a normal no, person. No, that's not a thing. The thing is he was driving it for the first time in his life. Like he'd never driven my car before. Okay. And I was like, yesterday I was like, why don't you drive it? You've never driven it. So I was like, okay, sure. So after he drove it and he was like, I will never drive this piece of shit no more <laughs> in my life. He, he yeah. said, I will never drive it. So I just, I felt bad because it's like he got the ticket, not me. But at the same time, I felt like so stupid because I well, really, it, I don't know. Okay, it's not a ticket. He got a, what's it called? Oh, I mean violation, right? It's a violation. It's a fix it ticket. Well, it is a ticket. Well, it is a ticket. Yeah, so he has a choice whether to take off the tint or, you know, leave it on there, pay the violation. I don't know how it works. No, no, bro. You I have, have to take no choice, it off. Right? Yeah, yeah. He has I to have no the choice. tint. He just got it on like two weeks ago, yeah. too, for having... 35 is really not that dark. If you guys seen 35 tint, 
you can still clearly see through the car. You, got, you guys, like many people, many people were telling me like to get 5% or 20%, but I was like, no, nah, I don't want to do anything against the law. So I was like, yeah, I'm just going to do 35%. Because the shop was, told you it's fine. Yeah, right? yeah. I just wanted to be comfortable, you know? I didn't want to get pulled over for, I mean, speeding, sure. I mean, I deserve it if I get pulled yeah. over for speeding, but. But tint, not for really? Tint. Come That's on, man. ridiculous. I mean, you, you know, if it was a regular car with tint, like non color shifting car, they wouldn't have given him an issue. Yeah. But he had, they, the cop wanted to find something, which was just ridiculous. That's just, you know, this is some stupid he stuff going on lately. He literally made a U turn and came like behind me. Like, like, like far away, I was telling my dad, oh, these cops, like the motorcycle cops. Yeah, they're bad. They're bad. <laughs> they're bad news. And then the, he literally just came after me after I said that. So I was like, oh man. And then, yeah, again, like he said, that wasn't even him. It was his yeah. dad that had to eat it. Yeah. Um, I feel, yeah, we all feel bad for his dad. So yeah. obviously he has should, no choice. You should not my dad, honestly. You should feel bad for me. I paid for the tent. I paid like $200 for the tent. Yeah, team. well, I I'm feel not. bad for both of them. Okay. Oh, man. Not only that, not only that, what else oh, yeah. What else did they complain about? You guys, I just want to let you know what they, it's such the stupidest thing this cop was complaining about. What so else? I have, a, I have a decal. Do you call it like a banner or what do you it's call it? It's not even a banner. It's not even a full size banner. Yeah, it's just a it's decal like, in the it's front a windshield. decal in the front windshield. And they were like, no, you can't have that in the windshield. On the windshield. They gave him a so fix it like, ticket for a decal. Yeah. Just so stupid, honestly. I don't like, know what I don't know what this cop is doing with his life. Did he not see anybody else speeding for the last like 12 hours of his day? And he was like, you know what? I, this guy has some decals. Yeah. Let's go ahead and pull him over. You know, I've seen a lot of cars with decals, big ass banners, like big banners. And this guy gets pulled over. And especially like, it, usually a cop pulls up next to somebody and they look if it's like a teenager or some stuff. Like, yeah. I, I know, like I've seen a lot of times where the cop pulls somebody over because they're a teenager with a fast car. They know something's up. But it was his dad driving the car. Like, he wasn't Bro, gonna do anything like, stupid. You, you know me, like I used to drive really fast and stuff. Now yeah. I stopped, like I knew, like, cause I got, I ate a ticket. Yeah, he got, a, he got a speeding ticket before. Yeah. I mean, a speeding ticket, I'm, no offense, but that's, you yeah, gotta deserve that. That's yeah, a speeding ticket. I, I, but yeah. come on, a taint and then over that, a decal. Like he has a fixed ticket that's to remove so a decal. Stupid. I mean, it's not that big of a deal, you know, we will remove a decal. It's just dumb. You know, I have a decal on my car, and you know, if I get put over for that, it's just, you know, such BS. There's a lot of cars, I just wanna let y'all know, there's a lot of cars with front plates. And you guys always tell me, why do you have your front plates? I mean, I took it off recently, but I think I'm gonna put it back on after his situation. He said, why do you have your front plates on the car? Because Cali cops are a joke. They literally will pull you over and then look around your car. Oh, you don't have plates there? Let me go ahead and give you yeah, two exactly. They just nitpick on everything. They don't even pull you over. Like they Bro. literally walk around your car and then tell you what's going on. It's Bro. like- Especially the motorcycle like cops. Yeah, the, the CHP. Yeah, the CHP. Oh my God. Bro. That, that's I have to go to CHP on April 4th, my brother's door. I've never got pulled over by anyone, like like a car, like a cop, like a car. A cop car, yeah. Cop, yeah. I always get pulled over for like motorcycles. motorcycles yeah, they're out there for your money. That's what yeah. they do. I mean, I think the CHP job is only to give people tickets, right? Yeah. Well, like, that's their that's a job. stupid job, honestly. What the well, heck? Well, go, go for our criminals. What the heck? <laughs> <laughs> We're well, just trying to enjoy our life. We're just trying to have fun with our cars. Well, what, what Leave us alone. What he's trying to say is it's fine if they give out oh tickets, just not for stupid stuff. Like, I mean, true, it's just a fix-it ticket, but it's not that. It's the story behind it. If you guys can just see where we're coming from. And like for me, the fact that I have to buy a whole nother door because I don't have a VIN number on the door or because I don't have a receipt for a door is just very stupid. When you guys buy car parts, I can 100% assure you guys you did not get the VIN number for it because who cares? You know, it's you bought it. Doesn't matter, you know. That's just that's yeah, just life. But like, I have a question for you guys. Um, Mom is just curious. He's uh, he doesn't know whether we should just remove his tint or not. Do you think we have to? I just out of curiosity, guys, if you guys can tell us if we got put over for tint. Do you have to remove the tint for a fix it ticket, or is there a way you can go around it by, you know, is it do you, end of the line? Do yeah. we have to move the tint? Is there a way we can still keep the tint yeah, on it? Because exactly. he just got it two weeks ago. He paid yeah. like two hundred dollars. Yeah, for I it. feel bad. Like I'm really like I'm broke right now. It's honestly, like two hundred dollars in the garbage. So yeah, if there's any way we can still keep the tint on there, or if there's no way, then you know, again, who cares about the decal? It's just really dumb. But yeah. I mean, the tint. I mean, also, look, honestly, the decal, I'll take it off because I, if it's illegal, I'll, I'll like I'll take it off, you know. But like for the tint, like hell no. But if it's under my name, honestly, I might like not even take it. Like, I, I might not take it out. I mean, let's be honest, he's gonna take it off. No. Brother, come after you. Yeah, actually, true. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna in that. But anyways, guys, we don't wanna make this a long video. We're just telling you guys what's been going on with us lately and just like, you know, we were in the mood to make videos because all the situations we're going through and all the stuff we had to pay, like the DMV has just been screwing us up with all kinds of fees for no damn reason. Um, you know, that's what happens with salvage title cards, I guess. I'm really not trying to deal with it. Uh, but yeah, uh, if you guys can help out Muhammad down in the comments, that'd yeah, be great. Um, remember guys, stay humble, and i see you guys in the next one. Peace out.
Shot in him a line and she's tryna get up on me. I tell her like Habibti, that's too hot on my line. Where they are? I was raised with some mollies. Everyone got a friend named Abdi. I'm from OT. Six one three.